So this is a little intro into the Eccentrics Flexibility Program. This is a program that's really going to help you get greater range of motion full body, freedom in your joints, and more movement in your muscles. What it is, is it's really a sustainable lifestyle program. So it's going to help you maintain or excel at any sports or activities that you do, whether that's golf or tennis, running, squash, hockey. Professional athletes use it, actors use it, models use it, everybody uses it. I have a lot of people who talk about just playing with their kids and lifting up their kids and how hard that is and they love this program because it gives them that freedom in their body to do anything that they want to do really. So, so many people are really locked up tight and in so much pain and you really need a good stretch program and this is more than stretch, it's really sustainable lifestyle. So what we're going to do is we always work the full body. We start with the upper body relaxing the shoulders, releasing all the tension in your pecs, working into the torso and the spine, which really helps get into everyone's favorite spot, which is the hips. So we're going to work the hips, the whole hip region, the quads, the psoas, the hamstrings, uh, the calf, and the groin. So we'll start with a little warm-up. So bend your knees. One of the things we work on a lot is the lower spine movement. So you have to tuck under and push back. So tuck under, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see it. Tucking under really helps to get some movement in your lower spine. So I'm not leaning back and I'm not leaning forward. I'm just taking as if I have a, a, a monkey tail and pulling under. So keep that movement in everything that you do. And I'll tell you when to use that. So it's either this or neutral most of the time. Right, so warm up. Bring those arms in, lift them up, pull them back. Bend your knees, bring your arms forward, lift them up pull them back. Again, bend the knees, rotate your shoulders, bring your arms front and down. Now just drop your arms down and lift them up. So we're just trying to get some blood pumping right now. Lift those arms up, bend the knees, lift the arms, getting the blood flowing before we really start the stretching. And pull, down, loose, pull, down, and down. We're going to start a little bit of stretching. So bend the knees, open up, pull back. Open up that chest. Make sure you're not leaning back into your lower back. Pull up in your spine. Pull those arms back. Now rotate the shoulders, tuck under, and bring those arms to the front. Pull, pull, pull. Try to touch me. Lift up. Pull up in those abs. And again, bend the knees, open back. Open. Rotate the shoulders. Reach to the front. Lift up. Straighten up those knees and open. One arm, bend the knees, bring one arm up, rotate to the side, lift it up and twist on your spine back. So now you're rotating your shoulder, bringing your elbow forward, shifting on your spine, now lifting that arm up over your head near your ear, twist again on your spine, bring the elbow down. And again, shoulder rotation forward, elbow towards the front, twist on your spine, lift the arm over your head, it's so right now, it's right next to the ear, and pull it back. Last time, round, tuck under, so you feel a nice little stretch in your spine, and back. Other arm, so start bringing it back, round. So that's shoulder forward, elbow to the front, your arm is bent, lift it over your head, twist to the back, bend the elbow. Lift that shoulder up, round your spine, tuck under, Elbow to the front, pull it to the side, lift it over your head, back. Again, round, shoulder forward, elbow forward, up over your head, make sure you don't drop back, pull up. And I think this is our last one. Round, reach up, and down. Now we're going to do what we call shoulder blast. So bend both knees, tuck under, take your hands, bring your elbows back, hands back, shoulders forward, and reach to the front of the room. Now make sure you're not pulling forward. You're tucking your bum under, pulling the arms forward, not the full body. Bend your elbows, keep them up, keep your shoulders rounded, grab your fingers, and pull apart those shoulder blades. So you're pulling the fingers apart. Push to the front. Now lift, reach up. Pull, 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 pull. Now you're, you want your both arms next to your ears here. Try to get them here, but try not to drop back. You don't want to be dropping back. Pulling up, right here. Pull. Now lift one arm, pull it back. Lift the other arm, pull it back behind the ear, keep your weight forward. Back. 
both arms straight up, pull them both back, flip your palms to the back of the room and we're going to open, push, bend those elbows, bend them, bend and push towards the back, you're opening this area, push, open, good, bend your knees, start again, tuck under, hands up, elbows back, arms to the back, reach to the front, grab your fingers, pull forward, now we're going to twist, twist, bring the arms down, lift them up, we're drawing like a figure eight in front. So now the other shoulder is up and we're bringing it down. Lift it up and bring it down. Other side, down. Now from here, you're gonna try to touch the ceiling. Lift all the way up. So you wanna feel the pull in your side. Reach, straight legs, let go. Remember, pulling up, weight forward. Pull one arm a little higher. Now try to pull that arm behind the ear. People are very tight up here in their shoulders. Pull, pull, pull. So just try to get a little bit of movement there. It'll come slowly. Reach up, both arms back, flip your palms and push. Open it out. Good. Now a little bit for the spine. Bend both knees, elbows up and pull in. So you're tucking under and then open it back. Just to get a little bit, bend your knees, movement in that spine. Under, open the arms up and back. I'll do it to the side so you can see side view. Tucking under. Lift the arms up and back. So you're trying to get the flexion in the spine. One direction and the other direction. Last time, in, up, and back. Good. We're going to start a little bit of work for the um, quads, psoas, hamstrings. So you need a chair. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. You need a chair. You're going to put one foot up somewhere on the chair. Mine is too low down here, the seat is too low, so I'm using the, the edge. But uh, it's nice to have a back so that you can hold on to it. So put that knee out, and the other knee bends. So now we're starting to work into the hip. So bend that knee and start shifting. So this is a technique where we move around a lot in our stretch. We don't hold a stretch in one position. So you want to find where your tightest area is. So if you have a little tight spot, it's always going to keep you from moving forward if you don't find it. So when people just target one muscle, they miss the other muscles that might be the ones that are keeping them from greater flexibility and greater range of motion, more speed in your sport. So just twist, twisting. I'm going to shift so you can see me. Now what you do want to do now is tuck under. So round your back and tuck your bum forward. So everything is rounded. Now push it back. Shift the whole hips back. Bum out. Now you should feel it even more in your hip. And bend the knee you're standing on. Push the knee not uh, too hard. Just gently push the knee down with, with your own muscle strength. Tuck under. And shift the whole thing back. Push back. You should feel that. Now stay back. Lift your bum up. And push it down. So hip down. push that hip down. Good. So that's a little hip stretch. We'll change legs. Other leg up. Knee out. Bend the other knee. You can hold on to the back. Bend that knee. Down. So now just shift. Move around. Shift forward. Shift back. Shift up. Shift down. Just moving around. Trying to get some movement in that hip. Okay. Down and up. You'll feel it, feels good. Just kind of self-massaging that hip joint. Okay, now tucking under, round the back. You can hold on to the bar if you still want for your chair. Now, whole bum pushes back, the whole hip area back. So you should feel the other hip now, the hip of the leg that's on the bar. Tuck under and push back. And again, tuck under, round that back push the bum back. Now stay back. Now lift the hip up. Lift your bum up and push it down and shift. Bend the knee you're standing on. Lift it up and shift it down. Twist. And again, lift and down. Good. Change legs. We're going to now work a little bit of the quad and psoas. So you want to be facing straight, hips straight. So you're going to 
lunge forward, pushing your bum forward, pushing your whole, this whole area forward. Now bend the knee that you're standing on, it heads down towards the floor. And now just relax there, you're going to feel a stretch in your quad. Now keep your position forward. Try to straighten that back knee and put the ankle on the floor. Push it straight. Down. Now lunge back. Release. We're going to do the whole thing again. Forward, pushing your bum forward, knee down to the floor. We're going to do twice each leg. Normally we do three or four. Now straighten up that back knee. Keep pushing your hips forward. You'll feel your psoas stretching. And back. Now a little for the hamstring. So what you're going to do is bend the leg that's on the floor and straighten the leg that's on your chair. And forward. So you're going to shift back and front. Forward and back. Shift back gently, very gently for the hamstring. Forward and back. Now stay here. Flex that foot. You're going to tuck under. Under and then push back. Flex that foot, push back, you should feel the hamstring working more. Again, round and push it back. Last time. Round and back. Good. Change legs, quad, psoas, and then a little hamstring. So forward, lunge forward, knee to the floor, down. For the quad. Feels good, nice stretch. Now straighten up that back knee, keeping your hip and your bum forward. Push that knee straight. It won't go all the way. And the ankle may not also go all the way to the floor, but you're keeping this push forward and you feel your psoas being stretched back. Little release. We'll go forward again. Lunge, bend that knee. Push your bum forward. You'll feel your quad stretching. You're going to flex that foot on the bar. Now we're moving into a little hamstring. Bend the knee you're standing on and round the whole bum under. Now, other direction. Back. Push your bum and back. Good. Change legs. A little more for the hamstring. Leg up, down, reach up, pull. And pull. And pull. Change legs. So you're bending the leg that you're standing on. Reach up and pull and reach and reach. Good. I'm just going to do a little hip cleaner. This favorite little exercise. So that knee in, open and back. Round and back. So what you're trying to do is not move the entire hip joint. You're just trying to move the leg in the joint. You don't want to move the whole hip around. So it's in, knee in, knee opens, knee back. And you'll feel this movement in your joint, this cracking feeling. It's like cleaning out, we like to describe it as cleaning out plaque. It's the scar tissue. Other leg, you can hold on to your bar and back. So it's knee in, open it out, and back. In, open it out, and back. In, I think we did probably about six on the other side, so we'll do two more. In, open, back. Last one. Make sure your hips aren't moving around. You want them to be stable. And that's it. So you should feel a lot looser in your hips and in your upper body.